Welcome back to Chops's Garage Time. We've had each of the bikes under the knife in here. We've done the Duke project, we've done the SM project. Now it's time for the Suzuki to get a bit of love. When I mentioned cruise control on Twitter, few weeks ago everyone said Pah, cruise control you've gone mad you old fart i think it, I, I was very skeptical about cruise control when i didn't have it <laughs> now i've used bikes with it and on long trips i really see the benefits of it especially on a sports bike where you've got a lot of weight on your wrist all the time if the rsv4 rf can have cruise control i'm damn sure the gsx r1000 can cruising so the cruise control of choice we're going to be installing is none other than American company MC Cruise. Can't touch this. Yeah, that's how we live it and you know. Can't touch this. These guys have been doing cruise control for a long time on ride by wire bikes. Obviously, you can get mechanical devices to give you some cruise control and lock your throttle. This is proper cruise control, as good or if not better than what's fitted to a lot of the factory bikes. The GSXR is a new one they've introduced to the range. So we're gonna do an install video, we're gonna do a test video, and let you know exactly what this system's like. So as part of this, I just wanna go through what you get in the box, you know, a bit of an unboxing thing. Um, you get some very, very comprehensive instructions with decent photos, decent descriptions, well laid out, is a, is a lot of work to do. <laughs> so that's the instructions. Also you get the module, of course, you need to be able to activate your cruise control. And that's your, you know, your on off, accelerate, decrease um, controls. You get the loom and the actual module itself. This is a, a plug and play system. It doesn't require cutting any wires. It does require taking some of the pins out of the stock connectors and re you know connecting them into these connectors so it, it's it's uh there's a fair bit of work to do on the installation of this so we see, see how long it takes how much work is involved is it okay for just your normal diy garage mechanic to tackle it i.e me Hammer time. There we go, bike has to be stripped down to this level. Fuel tank off, rear panelling off, things loosen so you can run wires through. And then on the fairing side, just this panel loosened away from the bike so you can get to this connector here. The thing about it so far is the instruction detail is very, very good. And even telling you how to strip your bike down. You know, what you have to remove, what you have to do. Very, very good instructions, really easy. So the first job on the installation is to fit the actual control module to the handlebars. Where is the control model module? Come here, you devil. Fitted, what I've done, I've moved the clutch perch over a little bit to bring this whole thing a little bit closer to your hand controls because yeah, it's a bit of a stretch to turn it on, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Time. I've worked out what this is. I wasn't sure what this ice lolly thing was. This is actually a Bluetooth module, so there's actually an app that you can control this thing via your phone. So first connector found is the rear brake connector. So you have to unplug the stock bike connector, piggyback in the MC Cruise system. So when you touch the rear brake, when you're riding, it will deactivate the system. Rear brake connection done, zip tied it all the way neatly. Next step is to connect into the TPS, the throttle position sensor, which is down and here, I believe. So the system knows how much throttle you're giving. You also have to calibrate the throttle, which we'll come on to, but first of all, you have to physically connect into it. So I think this is where things perhaps get a little bit more techy. 
You've got to love these instructions. So it even tells you how to remove the pin. So a little screwdriver into the latch to pop out the wires we need. So we need to remove, hang on, I guess it will tell us in a minute. Well, it has already, I guess it will tell us again. Wires must be backed out from the plug. We've got to take the green and black wire, the black and blue wire, and the pink and white wire. Remove the breather. Next step is to connect into the connector. Black and blue wire is that one and the pink and white. So these three in the middle, basically, is what we're talking about. Okie doke. Hammer time. There we go, three wires backed out. Now, identify the cruise control TPS branch harness. So I've connected the cruise control system into the throttle position sensor in the correct pins. We have three wires which we removed, which have to be connected into another connector somewhere in a minute, but that's it. So they're in, we now have to replace the little securing lug back in the connector and we're done with the throttle position sensor. Done. That's the other connector which comes with. So, so there's, the wires we backed out are connected to the new three pin plug, which is provided with the kit. And then we have everything back together on the stock throttle position sensor with our three wires connected to the MC Crew system. So what you end up with is a factory looking uh, installation. So we've finished with the throttle position sensor. We've connected it into the brake system now we have to connect it into this connector here which is for the speedo and the rev connections okay so we've backed out the brown and the black and the yellow sorry pink and white not the yellow that's the speed i believe that's the taco this is the worst part of doing this actually it's quite fiddly to back out these connectors and of course you're very aware that you don't want to bend anything, you don't want to break anything while you're in here, so it's a little fiddly backing those out, and it takes a little while to get a feel for exactly what you're trying to do by catching the little latches to pull them out. That's the hardest thing about doing this so far. But they're out now. Okay, all reconnected, all done into there. So the one wire left to connect, and that is to the clutch cable. So I'm guessing if you pull the clutch, the system also disengages. Well, there we go. That's the installation complete. Now we've got to go through the calibration and testing. Wasn't too bad. It took me about three hours to do the full install from start to finish, including stripping the bike, putting the bike back together again. So allow yourself three to four hours to do this job. Don't rush it. Hardest bit was actually getting the pins out of the connectors. It's quite close and tight and fiddly on the wires. So that's the worst bit. It can definitely be tackled by the home mechanic though. There's no need for any specialist tools, simple set of pliers, screwdrivers. It's all you need. It's easily accomplished. So now let's go into the configuration and teach the cruise control system how the throttle works. There is our controls. We have instructions here, comprehensive. As, 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 we've, as I found with this whole kit, the instructions have been absolutely amazing. Amazing. And without these instructions as good as they are, I don't think you could have really tackled this job. So top marks to MC Cruise for really bringing out some decent instructions with decent pictures. With the ignition switched off, hold the set and on off buttons. Turn the ignition on, but don't start the engine. Apply and release the front brake. The green light should illuminate. Apply and release the rear brake. Uh-huh. Clutch. You hold that down, hold the set button six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure the throttle is fully closed. You press the set button to confirm the throttle closed position. Apply full throttle. Press the res button. When I'm not touching it, it's green. Any sort of throttle movement is flashing. On and off the throttle now. Full throttle, amber. So it knows it, that's worked fine. We are done. Hammer time. No more will I have achy wrists on the road. <laughs> let's go test it out. Woo! Well, let's get ourselves on the motorway. And let's test this puppy out. 70 miles an hour, six gear. Let's turn it on. It's now on. So you have the red light to show it, so it's not doing anything yet. 
I guess you click set. And there you go. We are cruising. The light turns to amber to show you that you're on cruise. I guess then we can just accelerate a little bit of time. Yeah. Decelerate. Yeah, touch the brake. Shuts it off. Resume. Yeah, resume. And if I touch the clutch, it does shut it off as well, but of course it revs the bike slightly, so you're best off going to shut it off. Touch either of the brakes, the front brake or the back brake, because we connected it into the brake light, not into the back brake switch, like I said, it's connected into the lighting circuit, so as soon as the brake is touched, front or back, it kills, kills the cruise. Accelerate. Decelerate. amazingly well. Love it. Absolutely love it. It's now two months after I actually recorded this video. I've been using the cruise control system many many rides. I must have done 2,000 miles on the bike since the cruise control system has been on it and I have to say it's fantastic. I use it every time I go out on the bike in all honesty. I use it all of the time. Within that 2,000 or so miles and two months of use, I've had no problems. Not once have I had it do something untoward, like accelerate or, or do something when it's been on cruise control. It's just worked fantastically throughout that whole time of use. And I would feel lost without it now. I'm a complete cruise control convert. I really am. The only suggestion I could think it could be better would be to have something on the throttle, because when you deactivate the the, uh, the cruise control you have to do it by pushing the brake or turning it off on the actual control module on the factory fitted cruise control options you can push your throttle forward slightly and it will deactivate the system that's the only thing this is missing over a good uh, production fit system really it's just a way to turn it off without having to touch the brakes the other thing which i've been really impressed with is the app now, I mentioned it briefly, that's the ice cream module, which is an optional uh, Bluetooth connection. It doesn't come with the kit, it's an add on, an, an optional add on. But that is fantastic because with the app, you can configure the unit so you can select how much speed is increased and decreased when you press the button. So at the moment, I think the factory option is one mile an hour for every push of the button. You can change that to three mile an hour, four mile an hour, half a mile an hour, whatever you want. And that's easy to configure, configure via the app. With the app you can also there's also a feature using i think it's bing mapping where you can actually have because your phone is obviously gps you can actually have the system set up so it won't exceed the speed limit based on the bing map information of, of roads and what the speed limits are on those roads so you can actually set it when your cruise control is on you won't exceed the speed limit and you can also adjust it to how much over the speed limit so if you can say okay i want to go i let allow myself to go 10 percent over the speed limit it'll let you do that it'll let you set the cruise control based on gps speed or or bike speed so there's it, a lot of options with the app and they're continually developing it. So there's only going to be more features added. And that's, of course, something you do not get <laughs> with the factory fitted system. So I've been really, really impressed with this MC Cruise system. If you want to know more about it, have a look on their website. If you've enjoyed the video, give me a like, share the video if you can. I'm cruising. <laughs>